Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane once again and in this third tutorial video we're going to take a look at how to fetch single rows or items from our database using PDO okay so if you look at the previous tutorial we did we used the fetch all function on the statement to fetch all rows so this time we're going to change things a little bit and start using just the fetch function okay so let's change the fetch all to fetch and then just do a print r of the result and then we can see what we'll get so i'll just remove this for each loop and then go to our browser and then we refresh and as you can see we've got an array which is um just one record okay so what's happening here all right so basically if you use the fetch all function you get all the rows from the database table but if you use the fetch you get one row at a time so the next time that we call fetch we're going to get the second row so this result here initially contains the first row so let's call fetch on it again and then do another printer so i'll just copy all this and i'll paste down here let's remove the echo um, print tag here okay so as you can see we've called fetch now this result contains first result first row and then when we've called fetch again the result contains the second row so let's Look at that in the browser and see what we have we should have two arrays one for the first row and the second one for the second row okay so when i refresh you can see array number one is the id one and array number two is the id two so sometimes that can come in handy maybe you don't want to fetch all the rows that might be too much you say give me one row at a time okay so next let's see how we can fetch a column okay so that's very easy with um, PHP PDO. All you need to do is use fetch column. And you don't need to pass it any arguments here, um, but it has an optional argument that it accepts and we'll get to that in a moment. So let's say fetch column and then let's print out what's in the result. Let's see what we have. When I refresh, as you can see, it gave us one. So what just happened here? Okay. So fetch column works like fetch, but instead of giving you all the items in a row, it only gives you the first column in a row. So what do I mean by that? When you just call fetch, it fetches the first row in your database table and then gives you the first column if you don't specify which column you want. But we can say we want the second column instead of the first one. So how we do that is we give it the index and the indexing starts at zero. So zero means the first column and one means the second column. So if we wanted to get, let's say instead of ID, we wanted to get um, username, we can just pass in the index one and that will give us the username column, okay? So let's just pass in one here and then let's go to the browser, we refresh. And as you can see, we've got Lamin instead of um, ID of one. Okay, so just to make that more clearer, let me go ahead and put in number two here. Now, what should we expect to get? We should get the email here. So let me go back to the browser and refresh. As you can see, we will receive the email. So next, let's see how we can receive that um, row as an object. So instead of saying um, fetch all, we use fetch object. And that wouldn't return just one column, but it will return the whole row. But instead of um, an array like fetch returns for us, we will get an object. So let's say fetch object. And um, you don't need to pass it anything here. Because obviously it's an object. Let's go back to the browser. We'll get the fetch row as an object. So as you can see, instead of array, we got standard class object. And um, we've got the items as properties of that object. Let's go ahead and call fetch object again. That should give us the second row as an object. Remember, if you keep calling fetch object, fetch or fetch column, um, that will keep giving you the next row item. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this. So this will contain first row as an object. This will contain second row as an object. So go back to the browser, refresh. And as you can see, the first row, then the second row. Okay guys, that's it for um, selecting single rows or items using PDO and um, in the next tutorial, we're going to take a look at security and binding parameters um, that is doing dynamic stuff using PDO and I thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.